Good morning. Happy Friday. Ozzy's really happy. Hi. He's smiling so big. Come on. Up. Up. Up, Ozzy. He doesn't like to jump up. Come on, baby. Up. Hi. I wish I could get his little smile. You got a smiley face. You go boo. Hi. Sorry, my dogs are adorable. I just had to say hi. Um, thank you, baby. Today, I wanted to share with you, oh my goodness, so many good things. I'm hoping to come live on Fridays and share all the good things about Friday, but I had a session yesterday and I wanted to share with you a validation that came through today about yesterday. So for those of you who don't know, I'm Jen Gilbreth, I'm a spirit medium. And ever since I was little, I've had the innate ability to connect to those on the other side. Um, and so over the past few years, I've really stepped into having sessions as my full-time career in helping people connect to their loved ones to bring forth healing and comfort. Well, yesterday I met with someone who her grandmother came forward on mom's side. Her great-grandmother. I believe I can't always remember what who like all the messages that come forward which is a blessing um, but yesterday her grandmother came forward and it was so cute because she said something about sunflowers and I saw the sunflowers of my grandmother or my grandmother used to have fake flowers in her car on like the dashboard and on the back of it so she could find her car <laughs> and um, I have brought that was brought into my mind as an image and so I brought that up for her and she said, well, she didn't really have fake flowers, but she had a lot of like live flowers. And her grandmother started laughing and she said, yes, none of the fake flowers. Fake flowers were not her thing. It was all about the real flowers. And of course she shared some more validation. But at the end of our call, her grandmother said that she would show up and confirm herself through flowers. And then she laughed and said, not the fake ones. And then she talked about the smell. Um, all of a sudden having this random smell of flowers and connecting in and knowing that that is her in present around her. So that was just so beautiful and it was just such a fun message to bring forward. And then today I was going out to do some errands in the morning and something caught my eye and I saw this laying in the, the last bit of snow that we have in our yard. And so I stopped my car and I got up and I filmed what I saw and so I pulled out this flower and lo and behold, this was on the floor, was on my front yard in the grass. How did this get there? This is like a fake sunflower. And for those of you who know, it's snowing everywhere. There's snow, it's cold, it's everywhere. So I just thought that was so hilarious that this came forward. And so I texted it to her and said, oh my gosh, your grandmother is sending me confirmation as well. And I just thought that was so fun. And how many times do we feel disconnected from our loved ones? How many times do we feel, sometimes we have these big experiences and we know that they're around, while other times we feel totally disassociated and disconnected. And if you're in this position, if you're feeling this way, you're not alone and you're not bad and wrong. A lot of people experience this. A lot of people experience this disconnect at times. And in those times, it is up to us to be able to raise our vibration and reconnect in for ourselves. Because our ancestors, our loved ones, spirit is around us, wanting to converse with us. And sometimes we are so connected to the go, go, go of life that we forget to take time to connect in. So we might be missing all of the little memories or all of the little moments that come if we're not looking for them or if our hearts are not open. And our loved ones cannot force us to feel connected. You know, we live in a world of choice and accountability and our ancestors are never going to step in and take over or push us into something if we're not ready or if it's not the time. And so of course, all about having an open heart, a gentle mind and being connected. So if you're feeling disconnected, I would suggest to take a couple deep breaths in 
call upon or speak out loud who it is that you would love to know if they're around. And then ask for a sign and you create that sign. Whether it's some kind of animal, a music, like sending music, um, sending numbers, sending quarters or pennies, come here, or sending rocks. Whatever it is, is you have the innate ability. You are spirit. Before, this isn't to eat, silly boy. Before anything else, you are spirit. Before you came here, when you leave this physical journey, come here. Oh, oh, hey, stop. It's a good boy. Before you were here, before you came to this physical world, you were spirit. And when you leave this physical world, you are also spirit still. You're that divine space of love and of light and of reassurance. And knowing that, we have such a unique ability to connect into spirit. In fact, that is, that is our right. That is what we are innately before we're this physical journey. And so knowing that, knowing that you're not separated, you don't have to feel separated. And at times, yes, we do feel separated. And instead of us making it bad and wrong, what can we do to raise our vibration, to bring us back into our heart center, to then reconnect to our loved ones? Sometimes it's animals. They just bring such a loving space, huh, baby? It's like a boy. So just knowing that, that you are a spirit before anything else, having connection to your ancestors, to those who have passed to the spiritual realm, is not separate from who you are. It just takes time, it takes trust, and it takes understanding. And that's it. It's trusting in ourselves because that's our innate essence. And we forget that, and that's totally okay. It's just reminding you, re-reminding you over and over and over again that you have that power within. So I just thought I would share this news. It's been such a great week of sessions, so many miracles, and knowing that we're not alone and that we can have what are the odds of this confirmation? Like, holy smokes. This is for all of us. It's not for anyone who steps into the spiritual realm. We can all be in communication. If you have questions or thoughts, please let me know um, how that goes for you and what intentions that you have set in your space. Um, if you haven't already, on our Modern Sages podcast, me and Shaman Candice are sharing all things energy about how we are an energetic being, how we can experience things through energy, our chakras, our aura. Candace does a beautiful job breaking down the layers of our aura, which I found, which I found was very fascinating. We talk about exploring our multidimensional self, which is all about um, past, present, and future lives, the dynamic of who we are, all of those things. And so if that's intriguing to you, please go ahead and look up the Modern Sages on Potif on Spotify, Potify, on Spotify or on Apple, and it is there. And we just dive deeper into what it means to be an energetic being, and how energy is affecting your life, because it's affecting all of our lives. And that doesn't mean you have to be an energy worker or you have to go to anyone who does energy work. It's just your innate ability that comes from within. You are a multi-dimensional being, along with being the essence of spirit. You also are connected to your emotional, physical, mental, and spiritual legs, which means you experience all of those things at once. So when we can be aware, it gives us the innate ability to connect in further and to have the space within. So I hope that this made sense to you. If you have any questions, please, please, please feel free. I um, am more than happy and willing to answer any questions. So happy Friday. I hope you have a great weekend and you take time to connect in for yourself. Do some breathing exercises, some meditation, maybe journaling, maybe going for a walk or whatever it is that you can do for yourself to raise your vibration so that you can set those intentions and have your ancestors and your loved ones connected.